Hey guys, it's Tepco Cycle Repair. Today I'm working on the moto van because my odometer here stopped working. I reset it one day and it stopped working. It stopped, it hasn't been working for a long time. So um, I got, went ahead and got this gear for it. It's just supposed to be the fix. Apparently these gears split and break apart. This was like $19. So uh, I'm gonna pull this off. I have to um, pull this knob off. I'll show you how to do that. Uh, it's pretty easy. A little uh, look at the tab right here. You just, there's a little um, kind of a spring lock on there. You just put a hook underneath that. So we'll take that off, pull this whole, um, this whole trim panel off here. Then we're gonna take the gauge out. Um, I got a couple uh, eight mils here and here we're gonna take out. So let me get it all off and go grab some tools and we will get this taken care of. All right guys, so this is off. If you look at it, it's got little notches in it. All right, it's got little notches in it here. And then in the knob itself, it's just a spring. See that spring right there? You just gotta get underneath it and hook that, uh, that tab right there and push the tab in. And when you push the tab in, it just releases it. All right, so. Uh, so pull it off. I'm using just a little hook like this. You get it underneath here, get the tab. Pulls right off, okay? Real simple. And then we're gonna get the knob off here. Unscrews. Okay, so now this is out of the way. So now I'm gonna take these two uh, screws out of here. All right, you can see them. There's one there, and there's one. Sorry, I got a glare right here the way I'm showing it, but there's another one right here. So let me get those out. They're right underneath here. All right, so for these under here, I'm using a, uh, a T20 Torx, or you can use a seven millimeter to get these two out from in here. All right, and there it is. All right, so now this whole piece right here, you just grab it and pull it out, and it's, it's got push clips behind it, and I got it shifted down, all the way down to first gear. All right, and behind this is just clips. So you just gotta grab it and pull it out, all right? So that's out of the way. So we have the clips that pop into there, into here on both sides. Now we're going to take the uh, gauges out here. And we also have the uh, gear indicator that comes out of the bottom. So when we pull this out, we'll get to that. But right now I'm going to take these out. We've got one, two, three, four. All right, so here's the uh, shift indicator mechanism. And here's the tabs. They're right, okay, they're right here. And they just spring in, and then uh, you do that, pull, pull them down on both sides. Just be careful with it. The gauge is out of the way, so we're going to grab that now, the indicator. And I'm just going to move it out of the way so I don't hit it with the dash when I'm pulling the dash out. So now the indicator is out of the way there, and I'm going to pull this whole thing out. Behind is a couple plugs. All right, and there's our plugs. We got to get all these plugs out of here. Just regular plugs. Tab in the middle. All right, there's one. I'm trying to get you guys a good view here. Let's see the other one here. I'm gonna grab the tab. Pull it out. And then, and then here's the last one on the top. It's got a just a push tab on the top of it. I'm gonna Okay, and that one's out. Okay, now the gauges are out, so it's raining outside. I'm gonna go inside, I'm gonna take this thing apart. But basically, we gotta get behind the motor right here. Okay, this is where our, this is what we're trying to do, is get behind this. So I gotta take everything off of here, uh, and there should be, there's a couple screws in here that I'm gonna have to take off, and just separate this from the back side of it so that I can get behind it. So let me take it apart and I'll show you what I needed to do. All right, so the ones I'm gonna take off right here, these are T15s, there's a couple of them. There's one there, there's one right there, one there. There are two here, one, two. Then there's there, there. And then on the top here, we have the ribbon that we have to take off. And there's two little tabs on the side of this I'm gonna just pull out, and then we'll, uh, we'll pull that tab out, and I'll show you that when I get to it. All right, so now with this ribbon out of here, We'll be able to pull this whole board off. 
All right, to give you a better look at how this plug comes out of here, these two tabs on the side, you, you're going to pull them with a little flathead, okay? And you're going to pull them out so it unlocks like that, and then the ribbon's going to slide out. So when we put it back in, we're going to put it back in, and then get in there and just push these back, and it'll lock that ribbon back in place. All right, so here we are. We got the backing out. We're looking at this. Here's our motor right here that turns the odometer. And if you get a, if you get, if you look inside of there, there's the black gear. There's a black gear down in there. We're replacing it with a white one. This motor has a little tab. We're going to grab it and just twist it and then take it out. The, um, it should go without saying here, guys, if you, if you, the front part here, I'm trying to keep the clear, um, face on it. All right. Because that gauge surface right there, if you touch it with your greasy McDonald's fingers, you're going to get fingerprints all over it. All right. So we're going to try to keep it together like that so we don't make a uh, mess on it. Now for this right here, we're going to grab it. I'm going to twist it and there's a, uh, Little tab right here. We're gonna. I'm gonna need my other hand for this, but I'm gonna twist it, and I'll show you when I get it out. All right. So here it is. It took some force. I had to just twist it, but it'll just pop out of there. There's two little tabs. Now we're gonna pull it out and see what's underneath it. And you should see the gear come up, and hopefully it comes off in pieces. And that's what I'm. Yeah. Okay. See how it's broken? Look. There's the gear. All right. And that's what we're replacing. Now this gear is gonna come off of here. The new one's just going to get pressed back on. So let's get that out. Make sure you get all those pieces. See a little piece? Let's get that piece out of there too. All right, so here's the new gear on here. I just started it so I can show you guys. And it just slides on. So I'm just going to squeeze this here. And it should just slide on. All right, and there we go. We're back in place. So let's get this motor back in. Just going to stick it back down into that same hole. And here's the tabs that we have to be underneath. Here's the tabs that lock into it. So when we push it down in there, we're going to guide it all back in. Okay, make sure we're in the right place with the tabs. See them right there? And then we're just going to twist it and it should pop back into place. And there we go. Okay, and the dominant gear is fixed. So now let me reassemble everything back the same way we did it. And I'll, uh, and I'll put it back in the vehicle. All right, so these tabs underneath here, it's hard to see, but like I showed you guys with this off, I'm pulling these, uh, these tabs right here back, all right? And then we're gonna take the ribbon and slip the ribbon right into place. Okay, make sure the ribbon's back all the way as far as you can get it. And then we're just gonna push those two black tabs right there back up into place and it locks them in. So that's gonna lock your ribbon back into place. Right there. And right there. All right, so we're, that's locked in. We've got our tabs here all locked into place. I'm going to put all these screws back in the back. Okay, all three plugs back in place. All right, and then the indicator here, pushing it back up into place here. back in there all good let's get it into place put our screws back on be careful not to drop them again all right so I'm gonna go ahead and throw these four screws back in one two three and four all right and then this piece here you're gonna line it up I line up these bottom ones first pop them in all right and we were back in action there all right then we just have our um, headlight switch to put back on so we're going to put this on here switch itself okay make sure lights are working that's all good put these two screws back up top right here all right so we're all back in here Make sure that everything works good. Yep, indicator works fine. Stick for a drive and make sure our indicator goes. We're at uh, 154, 442. Stand by. All right, good sign. Here's our trip working just fine. Let's make some turns and get some distance on it. And there it goes. Rolling. Perfect. And there it is, guys. It's working just fine, just like it's supposed to. All right, guys, so it's done. It worked out perfect. I mean, it was a pretty simple job. The part was like, I don't know, $18. 
and it took me about 30 minutes to do. So uh, you gotta have your odometer work, especially when you check your miles and all that kind of stuff and your fuel economy, which I really don't know if I wanna know what it is on this full size van, but I love this van. This thing has it's been a great addition to my fleet of vehicles uh, and using it as a moto van and a camper van, it just works out perfect. If they're really worth it. And you can find these Fords and parts for them everywhere. So guys, hopefully this, uh, this helps you out. Uh, and to get your odometers working again, please hit the like button, subscribe, hit the bell for further notifications, guys. Until next time, this is Tepco Cycle Repair.